Hey guys, Denise Bond here. Hey. So, I actually just got off of the most amazing webinar. Oh my gosh, I had to share it with you. So, I'm going to take a sip of my tea so I don't get all dried out. <laughs> and um, I want to share with you what I learned because this is so monumental. If you're in network marketing, or if you have a business, or if you just generally feel stuck in your life, I don't care what it is, if you in a job that you hate and, and you just don't know how to get out, you, you feel just trapped, um, and you think that there's these big gaps from where you are to where you want to go, one of the things I learned is really there's no monumental gaps between where you are and where you want to go. There's only tiny tweaks it's, it's not like we're starting medical school here and we have to go 17 years of medical school. <laughs> but the number one thing that I learned is the language that we speak. What language are you speaking? And, and a lot of us don't even realize every day the things that we're saying to ourselves and saying to other people and that we're repeating over and over on a daily basis, such as, you know, why you can't do something, how you feel stuck, um, that you can't, uh, you, you know, you use that word can't. <laughs> we don't even realize we do it. And where we say um, reasons why we're stuck, I, I got laid off, I don't have money, I don't have time, oh, I have an unsupportive spouse, or I mean, I could just go on and on about all kinds of objections or obstacles that we think are there, but we just speak them without even realizing. And that is what's keeping us stuck. And, and, we, and we say, well, that's reality. A lot of us try to justify it by saying, well, that's, that's reality. That's the way it is. But what we don't realize is that us telling it like it is, is keeping it like it is. And we don't realize that we have to envision, what we have to do is envision a bigger, grander um, self. We have to see ourselves where we want to be not where we are. And people don't want to hear about where we are anyway. Be people don't like to hear about how I'm stuck, I, I, I can't do it, you know, or whatever the situation is, life is such a bitch. You know, people don't want to hear that. They, they, they want to pull away from you. They're not inspired by that. So pe people want to follow you and be around you when you tell them what your vision is, where you want to go. And if you don't know if you're speaking bad language, one test that you can find for yourself to see the language that you're speaking for yourself is what results do you have right now? Or if you look around and you see the results that you have right now, do you have what you want? Do you have the life that you want? Or maybe it's because it's the language that you're speaking. Um, one of the things that I learned too and it goes back to what I said earlier, is about non-successful people versus successful people and the language that they speak. And non-successful pe people constantly focus on <clears throat> their obstacles and their, their quote-unquote bad circumstances that they think are keeping them from getting what they want, the fact that they have no money or no time or that they came from an abusive childhood or you know if only I had this or if only I had that I mean we could come up with all kinds of excuses but what we need to do is move past that and, and create success in spite of of those obstacles and if you really really want to turn your life around and get something different in your life really watch your language and and I'm talking to myself too <laughs> because uh, yeah, I have been known to speak things that all of us do. We, we all have those, woe is me, like, oh, I can't do it, or, you know, whatever. But anyway, I just, I just wanted to share that with you and let you know that we can all have what we want. Just be mindful of the language that you speak every day and, and you know, we need to learn to craft a different story, um, cra craft an empire. Because what I learned too is that um, s 
smallness, creating smallness is like a disease, kind of. And, you know, I don't want that. I want bigger things in my life. I want to help you have bigger things in your life. And I hope that you saw something in this. I hope I sparked something in this for you. Wherever you are in your life, I, I want to help you. I, I want to have a better life for myself, and I want to help you have whatever it is you're looking for. So, you know, please click on the link below, add me on Facebook, like, share, whatever you feel compelled to do. I just wanted to share that with you, and I hope I gave you something to think about, and I wish you the best on your journey, and I hope you come back and um, see more of what I'm going to be bringing in the future. And you guys have a great day, and I will be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.